This is the first part of a small tutorial just to get you to the basic of how to use a collection view in iOS. We're going to start off with a single view application. Next, I'm going to call this collection view tutorial. Next, and create. This is the basic project with a very empty storyboard, like this. We're going to be using not a collection view controller, that is all of the view controller is a collection view. We're going to use a collection view inside the view controller. That way we can do parts of it like this. So let's put in a collection view over the whole screen. Or we can do, just to show it, do it from a bit from the top. Let's give this some constraints. Let's say, right, 100 points from the top, way out to the edges and to the bottom, like this. I do update frames like this. Now you see a square here. Let's see, we can drag this around and we can give it, um, you see, you can't give it a size here. You have to go into the collection view and you can say that the cell size is 70 by 69. Let's see, 70 by 70. That's this square size. Now, what we need to do is, like a table view, we select the collection view and say, where's my data source? So let's drag this to the view controller. Where's my delegate? Let's drag that to the view controller, like this. And then, let's do like this. That Now, we're just going to leave this with a label inside. It's just gonna say label for now, just to see it. What happens if you run this? You see, we get a crash because we look at the error it says here the collection view number of items in section we have not implemented code for the view controller we said that it's going to be a delegate and data source so let's take the view controller and say you are a UI collection view delegates and you are a UI collection view data source. Now we will get an error saying that we don't have implemented the methods needed. For instance, collection view, collection view number of items in section. We haven't told the collection view how many items it has. So let's start by writing collection view and here we can see number of items in section. That is how many um, items there are. Just to test, let's say return five. You see here, it's gonna give an int, an integer of how many. We still get an error up here, which says, oh, sorry. Like this. It does not conform to data source. Let's do again, collection view. There are a bunch of methods, like for instance, selected item at, what happens when you click on a item, if we can move them, things like that. But what we want is this, sell for item at, 
this method, like the one in for a UI table view, gives us how the item is to look like. Let's do, let's call it cell equals and from the collection view give me dq reusable cell with identifier for item path. Right, what's the identifier? We haven't set that yet. Let's just call it cell for item path. This is a bit confusing. Capital I for the item path called I, um, for index path with a small for index path. And then just say return cell. So this method gives that. But we have to say that our cell is called cell. So let's go here. Select our collection view cell. And up here, say the identifier is cell. What happens if we run this? We get five of these. Now, if we select the cell and give it a background, let's just give it a red background and let's run it again. We get these boxes that are 70 by 70 and it tries to fit in as many as possible. It happens to fit in our five and give space. Let's say not five but some odd number. So let's say 13. What happens then? It splits them out. If we put in a uh, run this on a, a much smaller screen, it would fit a, a smaller amount. What we want is our own. We want to set the, the item, the UI components in these cells, and we want the size to be what we want. So let's start off by saying we want our own cell and we want it to be uh, perhaps a third of the screen, a quarter of the screen or something like that. But let's begin by doing a new file, Cocoa Touch class, and say I want a new UI collection view cell. And let's call this um, our collection view cell. Next, create. No code in that yet. So let's go back to the storyboard. And let's see, select this and say, hey, my cell has its code in our collection view cell, like this. And then what we want to do is make a connection here. If we select the label and we have to select here, sorry, here, our collection view cell. Let's see, let's drag in this label like this, make an outlet for it, and let's call it the label. Connect. Like this. And then after that, we go into our view controller. And when we say here, let's just make a cell. Let's do it like this. Hey, give me a cell as an our collection view cell. Then we can say, hey cell, 
your the label is not available. The label. See here? The label. So let's see here. Sell the labels text is hello. Now, that's the first part of this short tutorial. In the next part, we're going to go through how to make an array of, of titles and some other things and set the value and how to um, set them in a certain size.